Welcome to Relational Inequality Operators. We'll be going over what relational operators are, what equality operators are, and what their use is in programs. So let's start off by looking at relational operators. So some examples of relational operators in plain English is less than, less than or equal to, greater than, greater than or equal to, things like that. So let's start off by looking at the greater than sign, which is just like the way you see it in math. So we have the greater than sign, which you use in Java, and that's just greater than, that's what it represents. Then we have the less than sign, and it represents less than. This is really, really simple. It's just like the way you know it. It's greater than, less than, it's, it's the same with Java. And then we have greater than, equal to. So as you know, the greater than, equal to is usually the greater than arrow with a line under it. But in this case, because we have no ability to put that into our Java program, Java has us do a greater than with an equal sign. So that's what you do instead for the greater than or equal to. You put a greater than sign and then you add an equal sign on to it at the end, which actually makes sense because it's greater than and then the equal sign. So similarly, for less than or equal to, you have a less than sign and then you place the equal sign right after it. So you can have greater than, and then if you put an equal sign after greater than, you get greater than or equal to. So the relational operators, as you can tell by their name, are to determine relationships between two different things. So as we know in math, we have x is greater than y, so similar things like this. And um, that's what relational operators are for, for determining relationships between different numbers and variables. And then we also have equality operators, so as you can tell by the name, this is all about the equal sign. So there's only two different equality operators that we'll be going over, which is equal to and not equal to. So the first, the first equal to sign is equals equals, which represents equal to. And then not equal to is represented by exclamation mark equals. So whenever you see an exclamation mark in Java, that represents not. We'll be looking at some other operators that have the exclamation mark as well. And the exclamation mark always represents not. So exclamation mark equal will mean not equal. And now let's take a look at equals versus equals equals. So equal is an assignment operator that we'll be going over later in the course. But as we saw earlier in the addition program, it was sum equals number one plus number two. So the, a single equal sign is usually used when you're assigning a value. And the equals equal sign is an operator when you want to compare two things. So if I were to say y equals equals x, that will not make y equal to x. That will simply tell me true or false whether y is equal to x. But on the other hand, if I said y equals x, then that would assign x to the value, I mean sorry, y to the value of x. A better way to think of it is let's say that x is equal to 5. And x, we declare x is an integer that's equal to 5. And then we want to find, and then we uh, write a statement after that, x equals 6 with one equal sign. So then the value of x is now 6. But instead, what we could do is we could do something like x equals equals 6. And we could have, um, we could do that. But the thing with that is that would not give x a value of 6. That would simply return true or false whether x is equal to 6. And in that case, it would return false because x is, x is actually equal to 5. Now let's look at the use of these operators in programs. So a condition is a Boolean expression that can evaluate to true or false. So as I was talking in the last slide about returning true or false, that's when you have a condition. And this is where those operators are primarily used. They're used in conditions where true or false is returned. And they're used for comparing primitive types like integers, doubles, and um, so let's look at let's look at variable declaration. Boolean x equals in parentheses z is greater than or equal to y parentheses semicolon. So as you can see, the z is equal to greater than or equal to y is a conditional and it will return a value of true or false. So either z is greater than or equal to y, or it's not greater than or equal to y. So if z is greater than or equal to y, it will return true. And the value of the Boolean variable x will be true. Now let's take a look at another example. Boolean y equals z equals equals x. So in this case, if z is equal to x, 
the the um it will return true and the value of the boolean variable y will be true if z does not equal x it will return false and the value of the boolean variable y will be false now keep in mind that just because we're writing z equals equals x does not mean that z's value becomes x the values remain the same and it simply returns true or false depending on whether they're equivalent to each other that's all for this lecture we've looked at relational and quality operators they're really simple just like in math we looked at the not equal to operator as well and we saw that they're used in conditions when they're used in programs when we get into control structures they'll be used a lot more